It's common knowledge that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been incredibly successful, surpassing expectations by delivering better images, scientific data, and uncovering new mysteries. The wait for this telescope has proven to be worthwhile. While the following list is not exhaustive, here are 10 intriguing observations made by the JWST and their potential implications. The discovery of the smallest free-floating brown dwarf. On December 13th, 2023, the JWST announced the discovery of the smallest free-floating brown dwarf. This finding challenges existing models of star formation. Located in the star cluster IC 348, approximately 1,000 light years away in the constellation Perseus, this particular brown dwarf is puzzling because it is extremely young, only 5 million years old. The study identified three brown dwarfs with masses ranging from three to eight times that of Jupiter. The fact that they fall within the size range of very large planets raises questions about their origin and whether they are freely formed brown dwarfs or giant exoplanets ejected from a star system. The ringed asteroid Cariclo, a centaur asteroid that typically orbits between Jupiter and Neptune, orbits outside of Saturn's orbit and has a diameter of 250 kilometers. This asteroid is of particular interest because it has rings, a feature usually associated with planets. The rings were initially discovered in 2013 using the occultation method, which involves measuring the position and size of an object by observing it pass in front of a star. Webb had the opportunity to measure an occultation with Chariklo in October 2022, confirming the presence of the rings. Webb's measurements will provide insights into the thickness, color, and particle size of the rings, potentially revealing additional rings and shedding light on why a relatively small body like Chariklo possesses a ring system. One hypothesis is that Chariklo experienced a collision with an icy object, resulting in the formation of these rings. The silicate clouds of VHS 1256BJWST aims to significantly expand our understanding of exoplanet atmospheres and their composition. The exoplanet VHS 1256B, located approximately 40 light years away in a double star system, has a unique atmospheric makeup. Despite its young age of 150 million years, the planet exhibits a disequilibrium in its atmospheric composition, containing water vapor, methane, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and even silicon. Silicate clouds, consisting of particles ranging from smoke-sized to small grains of sand, were detected on this planet. The presence of these clouds suggests a heavily mixed atmosphere providing valuable insights into exoplanet atmospheres and demonstrating the capability of JWST to analyze them. The temperature of TRAPPIST 1b. The TRAPPIST 1 system, known for its multiple planets, some of which are in the habitable zone, has been a significant discovery in exoplanet science. TRAPPIST 1b, the planet closest to the star in this system is not within the habitable zone and therefore not considered a suitable candidate for life. Observations of TRAPPIST-1b using JWST revealed that the planet lacks an atmosphere and has an extremely high temperature of 230 degrees Celsius. This analysis marked the first time a similar exoplanet to those found in our inner solar system was examined. Further investigations of the other planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system will provide additional insights into these peculiar worlds, although the difficulty of analyzing planets further from the star increases. The Fomalho Asteroid Belt Fomalho, a relatively young star located just 25 light years away, is known for its dusty environment. Prior to the JWST's observations, 
The complexity of Fomalho's dust belt was uncertain, and it was hypothesized that it could contain an extrasolar asteroid belt similar to our own. Since the JWST is primarily designed to study infrared radiation emitted by dust, its observations of Fomalhaut's belts are particularly relevant. The findings revealed that the belts around Fomalho are vastly different and more complex than those in our own solar system. Fomalho possesses three nested asteroid belts extending up to 23 billion kilometers from the star, far exceeding the size of our own asteroid belt. These belts are the remnants of colliding bodies and indicate the presence of young, unseen planets responsible for shaping and gathering material into these belts. Similarly, the presence of an unusual dusty cloud in the outer ring suggests a past planetary collision, similar to a previous detection made by Hubble in 2014. The Giant Enceladus Plume the existence of plumes on Enceladus, Saturn's moon, has been known for some time. These plumes occur when liquid water from beneath the moon's icy surface erupts through cracks, analogous to geysers on Earth. However, these plumes, also known as tiger stripes, continue to intrigue scientists. For us, this is extremely fortunate because analyzing a plume in space and searching for signs of life is much easier than drilling into an ice shell moon with a submarine to see what's there. However, until JWST, James Webb Space Telescope, it wasn't clear to what extent these plumes could release water vapor. According to measurements from Webb, it turns out that they extend at least 6,000 miles, which also provides clues about the contribution of Enceladus to Saturn's ring system. It was previously known that Enceladus's plumes spread material deep into space, but the extent to which the plumes actually extended before dissipating was unknown. Additionally, these measurements revealed that Enceladus loses about 79 gallons of water per second. The presence of organics in deep space is crucial as organic chemistry is the foundation of life on Earth. Carbon, in particular, is essential for life and is the most promising pathway for life in the universe. While carbon's abundance on Earth is well known, verifying its presence in other galaxies is necessary. JWST has made a significant discovery in this search, observing a very distant galaxy that shows the chemistry of carbon. This discovery is intriguing as it indicates that carbon was present when the universe was only 1.5 billion years old. Additionally, JJWST's observations in the Orion Nebula show how stellar radiation erodes the bar over time, leading to the creation of carbon-based molecules and the chemistry of protoplanetary disks. Europa is a captivating moon because it has a subsurface ocean that could potentially support life. However, the existence of carbon in Europa's ocean was previously uncertain. Recent JGRBSD observations have proven the presence of carbon on Europa's surface in the form of carbon dioxide deposits. These deposits are likely to have originated from Europa's ocean rather than being delivered by meteorites. Additionally, JWST did not confirm previous evidence of plumes of water vapor escaping cracks in Europa's surface, suggesting that plume activity may be intermittent. The WASP, Wide Angle Search for Planets project, which has discovered numerous exoplanets, presents prime targets for JWST observations. For example, JWST observed the hot Jupiter WASP 17b, which orbits its star closely and in a retrograde orbit. Silicates in the form of quartz nanocrystals were found in its atmosphere. Another exoplanet, WASP 107b, has a mass similar to Neptune, but a diameter approaching Jupiter, allowing for easier observation of its deep atmosphere. Water vapor, sulfur dioxide, and more silicate clouds were found, but no methane. On the other hand, 
WASP-80b, a warm Jupiter, has a different temperature profile than our gas giants and shows detectable methane. JWS will likely observe WASP-80b repeatedly due to its unique circumstances. Kirk 8462852, also known as Tabby's Star, has puzzled scientists with its mysterious dimming that defies explanation. Speculation about the activities of an alien civilization arose, although it has since decreased. The source of the dimming appears consistent with submicron dust, but does not follow a periodic orbit. Infrared observations indicated that the material causing the dimming must be cold, leading to hypotheses about cold comets breaking up. JBWST has already observed Tabby's star at a higher resolution than previous measurements, and the findings are yet to be released. It remains to be seen if these observations will settle the mystery or deepen it further. Apart from JWST, the upcoming Vera Rubin Observatory is expected to uncover various mysteries in the cosmos.